Welcome back to the Sports Report. And uh, one of the ways that we officially uh, put a lid on the football season is the John Reed Leadership Award. And it's, uh, it's later in the season for when we normally do this, but this is an extended football season, so why should it be a little later than normal? And this year's winner is Stephen Carter from Lima Senior, who is a track and field coach and assistant football coach. And I just want to read one of the uh, nominations that you received, which is one of the reasons why you were, um, you got the award. I first met Stephen about four years ago when I took over the Lima Area 3D Coaches Study for Mandy Lynch. Steve was a regular participant and I found out he coached football and track and field at Lima Senior. He soon started to volunteer as a huddle coach with their FCA huddle. He has a quiet demeanor, but through our many conversations and our ministry together with the Lima Senior huddle and other places, I have seen firsthand his love for student athletes and his passion that they develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. Steve and I prayed about the character coach team chaplain job and discussed who God would have fill that role. It became clear that Steve Carter was the right fit. He started a Thursday chapel with the team and coaches and is sharing the truth of the scripture with young men that are desperately in need of godly guidance. And I, it, I mean, that encapsulates all there, what is looked for in a John Reed, John Reed Leadership Award. So on behalf of the John Reed Committee, on behalf of WTLW and the Sports Report, Stephen Carter, our 2021 John Reed Leadership Award winner. Sir, congratulations. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So first thoughts, you, you found out a while ago that you had received the award. Um, what went through your mind? Well, I was, it was kind of off guard, you know, I, uh, Steve contacted me, says, I need to meet with you, and it was after school, so, you know, I, I was pretty busy and everything, and I said, so I, I got to kind of postpone practice a little bit, and then, well, we have indoor track practice, and I said, uh, I got to meet with uh, somebody, and then we sat in a conference room, and he says, have you heard of John Reed? And I said, and not right off the bat, I really didn't remember. He said he used to be the coach at Coldwater. I said, oh, yeah, I, I remember him. And um, he says, you're getting an award in honor of him. And I was like, he waited, like, because he was very, an outstanding coach, you know, a very spiritual person and all those principles. You know, I, I observed Coldwater back in 2004. They came to the stadium to play, a, a, a Lima Stadium to play a, a playoff game. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Coldwater was playing. I can't remember who they were playing, but I was working as their host, you know, as far as opening up the locker rooms and all those kind of things and anything they needed during halftime and their programs. And I handed everything to Coach Reed and he says, thank you, sir. And he gave me a firm handshake and everything. So I kind of stood back on their, near their sideline, you know, from their bench. And his demeanor didn't change or everything. Of course, they won big and everything, but he was the same person, the same demeanor, and his players and coaches, staff were pretty much a reflection of him. So you've had that opportunity to to meet John, Reed, interact with him. Talk about your own uh, your own time at Lima Senior. How did you get involved in uh, the activity that you're involved in? You're involved in S FCA. You're uh, you know chaplain doing those activities with the team. Uh, obviously, you're having a, an immense uh, positive experience on the kids. Yeah. How did you get involved in all of that? Well, it was kind of coincidence. I mean, for years, we didn't have a FCA program until 2014. And Josh Boquist, Pastor Boquist's son, mm -hmm. they moved to Lyman in 2014. You know, he was like, hey, coach, you know, do you have an FCA program here? And I said, no. You think I could start one? He's like, I said, fine, yeah, you can do it. So it was a godsend thing, you know, and he started it. And it was like, it was like, it's pretty much a testimony. We, we share and laugh about it all the time when I see him. I said, you know, he was like the Terminator. He just fell out of the sky, a linebacker just fell out of the sky and he just made a big difference in our program. And, um, you know, he, he, we continued that. And then uh, Andy, how I met Andy Lynch, you know, he was in, heavily involved in it and he was a district rep. Um, he, uh, he had a legends camp out there, out there in Elida. And, uh, Mike Fell got, at the time he was our coach, and he gave us information about it. And he says, hey, Stephen, you, you seem like a spiritual guy. Why don't you go out there for us? You know, and I said, yeah, because I, I, I really, really turned down spiritual events because you can always learn from it. You know, you, mm -hmm. you really can. So I went out there and I met with Andy and I was working at camp for like two or three years straight. And then we started having like a coaching study at Lima Senior with Andy and you know, a few handful of people showed up and then we also had it at the, on 
81, the chapel church out there mm -hmm. on 81. He had that for a while. So um, eventually I was involved in it as an advisor, you know, and a few kids, Zach Zwiebel, he was involved in it and he's doing very well in, in college now. So I've taken on upon the reins of, you know, being involved as the advisor and all those things. And uh, we were looking for a chaplain at the time and our head coach, Alfonso Townsend, he was saying, why don't you do it? <laughs> and I said, <laughs> you know, yeah, I can. Is that what, you know, you're okay with that? And he says, yeah, that's fine. So I told Steve and I said, well, uh, it was agreed that they'd like me to do it. And I, he said, that's great. So on Thursdays, you know, we do a lesson about uh, athletics life as a young man. And I have these, usually have these scripture cards on Thursdays, you know, they have these in the locker room, we have these uh, open locker rooms, you know, you got their helmet and the bags and you got a seat and I always would put a card on their, uh, on their shelf on there on Thursdays and um, based on a scripture and everybody had a different card, not the same, the same part and they would read it and, you know, they would cherish it. So they, you know, sometimes I'd walk through there to see if they were still there and they'd have them throughout the, each week, they would have them stacked up in their, in their locker and then, uh, I would do like a devotional on Thursdays before the game, and um, it was pretty crucial. We'd hit home, and a lot of it depends on the situation that we were in. And, you know, some of the players, they would come by my room and say, hey, coach, you need to do that every day. <laughs> you know, and yeah. I said, you think you should? I said, well, come to FCA on Wednesdays, and, you know, we can talk about those things, scripture and activities. We also have food to keep them going. There so. you go. Real quick, 30 seconds or less, where would you like to see – Lima Sr., from a spiritual perspective, go in the next five years? Well, we'd like to see more kids involved in FCA. Um, you know, it, it, uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I asked, you know, the spiritual aspect of athletics school, and we, we, meant, we emphasize, you know, the growth of it, you know, and the principles of, uh, of being a person. You know, you have to have your faith, your family, your school, your sport, your social life, all those ducks have to be in order. And mm -hmm. we, we push that a lot in FCA. We talk about that and explain the reasons why. Because if you put your social life first and then everything is out of whack, then this, things become dysfunctional as an athlete, as a person, and all those things. So we just want to build character. And that's, that's the biggest goal in, in the next few years, to get more kids involved in it with literature and all those things. Getting their priorities in order. Coach, you certainly have your priorities in order. Our John Reed 2021 winner. Coach Stephen Carter, Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations you. on the award.